This elegant flat is in southwest London, but the backdrop is Baghdad. Baghdad is where artist Suad Latar grew up and where her family came to tragedy. She paints the layered darkness of desert nights, sleeping cities, the turquoise blue of mosques, and symbols thousands of years old. I was born in Baghdad. My father was born in Baghdad. My grandfather was born in Baghdad. My great-grandfather was born in Baghdad. And, and then after uh, I traveled, those images always stayed in my mind. It's not the actual city that you see, it, but the feeling behind it, uh, the mystery. The art world knows Suad Attar as an established artist. I called it, she came out of the darkness. And uh, it showed this uh, tormented uh, young girl coming out of, the, uh, of that stone. There is pain, but there is a great wisdom on her face. As if like she has come out of all these thousands of years. Walking around old Baghdad for the first time in a decade, Suad marvels at the beauty of the old buildings. But it's like a piece of jewelry. The, the Some of Iraq's influential families lived in these houses. Now many of the homes are shuttered and decaying. But there are still booksellers off Al Mutanabi Street. Still Al Mustansaria School, one of the oldest institutions of learning in the world, lovingly restored still the palm trees and the turquoise domed mosques that have defined Baghdad for more than a thousand years. And still the Tigris River, which gave birth to the world's earliest civilizations and inspired some of the world's first art. In London, Suad's studio is on another great river, the Thames. Here she builds thin layers of black on canvas, wiped with her hands, and then paints light coming from the darkness. She often sits by this river. This does remind me of, uh, of uh, Baghdad, this part of London, it does. <laughs> Suad and Leila came from a merchant family. In the Baghdad of the 1950s and 60s, they grew up in comfort and style. Suad started painting at the age of eight. At 13, she did this portrait of 10-year-old Leila. My uh, model always is Leila, so she sat for me for hours holding a book. Her face looked almost the same. Suad married at 17 and moved to California to have children and study art. Like the artist, her paintings have become multicultural, like these commissioned by a London opera company. I try to paint her in a way like she's trying to fly like a bird. Her soul wants to fly. Although the subject is Italian opera, there are the same themes. Light from darkness, the trapped spirit released. In this elegant London apartment, repeated on canvas, the legacy of a real life story set in Baghdad, as dramatic and tragic as opera. Jane Arath, CNN, for Inside Europe, London.